All of them had been recruited from America and they were quality young men. So what made them different? It was the junior leadership, the junior NCOs, the junior officers whose coaching, whose animating spirits brought out the best in their troops, who had admired leadership. We all know that earning the trust and respect of your subordinates is critical. You, you simply have to earn that trust. You have to earn that respect. You have to earn that every day because when it's all over and done with, you're not gonna win any fights as a leader. Your troops are gonna win those fights. But there was another word I learned to prioritize as I evaluated units, and that word was affection. It's not popularity with all the favoritism that comes with trying to be a popular person as a leader. That's a, a road to failure. But affection that you create in a unit, an affection so strong that the troops will stick by one another, they'll carry out the mission even in peril. And I bring this one up because I believe that that kind of affection brings out self-discipline, where people don't want to let down the unit. And I think that if there is one lesson I learned along the way, that the more you can build that kind of affection in a unit, when the going gets tough, when people are getting shot down around you, it'll pull together, it'll pull through. And it'll be a lot smoother organization, it'll move more rapidly. God save my marriage, or uh, bring, bring my son or my daughter back to you, Lord, and embrace them. Or maybe you'd ask for physical healing in your body. Or maybe you'd ask for a financial miracle. Or maybe you would ask that America would repent of her sins and come back to God. Do you think God can still work those kind of miracles? I mean, I do. Same God yesterday, today, and forever. The Bible tells us that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, and today, and forever in Hebrews 13, 8. I think some people look back in these stories in the Bible and they say, well, you know, that was great back then, but does God still do this kind of work today? You know, maybe some people think, well, you know, God's a lot older, a lot wiser now. Um, God is perfect. There's a reason God doesn't. this here buzz buzzard clean out of the county. Oh yeah? Well you better start a running, Sheriff. It's a buzzard! <laughs> Let's see. My 
first shot was in the rough. Back on the fairway in two. Over the green in three. Back on in four and took two putts. For a six. The scores is a getting tougher all the time. Was you gonna tear out a what bus? I'm gonna get you. Um, 
I love that. I love Twitter. I love the fact that I can Twitter 25 million people, whatever, like, and they'll listen. It's that's that's a really cool thing as well. How important is social media? Do you think these days to not just to you personally, but also to you professionally? Oh, I mean, definitely, it has a, a big deal to you know of why you know of why I'm where I am because I was able to have that social media um, connection with my fans and have them reach out to me through Facebook or Twitter. Or, you know, I think that was yeah, and YouTube. YouTube really launched my career, um, and for them to really feel involved with me, being able to write comments, that was something different that they could you couldn't do 10, 20 years ago. You got 25 million followers now on Twitter. Yeah, 25 million followers. Are you chasing Lady Gaga? Uh, yeah, most? I mean, I'm trying. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get number one, but Lady Gaga is still there. I got 1,000. I'm gonna give you three seconds, Beavis. What the hell's the matter with you, Beavis? <laughs> Beavis, can you hear me? <laughs> Shut up! Ow! Oh Remember that time you turned that jack in the box into a crap in the box? <laughs> that was cool. Uh, Beavis? Beavis? Beavis! What's your problem, Beavis? I said stop it! You need money for the meter, money for the toll Don't turn on the heater, daddy's on the dole They tell me that the devil pays good money for your soul We don't got no dough Tell me there's a dollar in the pocket of your jeans you need money for the baby, the bacon and the beans I'd buy you a dozen roses, but I just don't have the means we don't got no dough Sorry, Mr. Landlord, I cannot pay the rent Run down to the bank and ask them where my money went Then come back and tell me just who overspent Mr. Let me tell you, I blame the government 